The following is an initiation lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 16th of March, 1976, in Mayapur, India. The mantra Namo Apovitra Pavitrava Sarmama Sanga Tupiva Jasmare Kundari Kaptam Sa Bhayabhantanam Suchi Sa the spiritificatory process according to Vedic system there is a purificatory process. Janmanad Jayate Sudra. By birth, everyone is born a Sudra. A Sudra means without any knowledge and simply full of lamentation. Suchati. So, the basic process is that from the low grade position to bring the human society to the highest, topmost position. Generally, it is the first, topmost position is to become a Brahmana in the society. Chatutvannam maya system gunakarma vibhaga. Four divisions of the social system are there. According to quality and work. That is very natural. In this world, everyone is accepted on quality and work. If you have got the qualification of a good lawyer and if you have done very nicely your activities, then you are selected as a high court judge. The high court judge is selected amongst the lawyers in the court. It is not appointed from outside. The a lawyer who has done his legal profession very nicely, the government offers him the post that he will become a high court judge. So this quality and work is estimated everywhere and in all circumstances. Bhagavad Gita recommends Krishna says personally, the Supreme Personality of God, Chatur-Bandang Maya System Guna Karna Vibhag. So that process is applicable at all times. And Narad Muni, he also gives description to Yudhishthira Maharaj while they were talking about the Bandhasram. So Narayanani gave different symptoms of different varna, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. Then at the conclusion he said, Jasahi jat lakshanam prutam varna abhivanyakam jadi annatra vidhisheta tatte naiva vinidhisheta. He said, that I have already explained the different symptoms of different varnas. Brahmana will be like that, Kshatriya will be like that, Vaishya will be like that, Sudra will be like that. So he says if these symptoms are found, anatra, suppose one is not born in the Brahmin family, he might have taken birth in a lower family. 
But he has acquired, if he has acquired the qualities of a brahmana, he should be accepted as brahmana. This is the process. Or if one is born in a brahmana family, but he has not attained the qualities, neither he is working as a brahmana, then he should be accepted either Hattriya or Vaishan Sudra. This is the system. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also wanted to introduce this system. Kibab Sudra Kibab Vipra Nasi Kane Noy Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru He never accepted this. That by birth, no. Either he is a Brahman or he is a Sudra by caste or by birth. The Kivavi Prakiva Sudra, Nasi Kaneno. Either he is a Grihastha or a Sannasi. He does not. He can become a Guru. How? Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta, one who knows the principles of Krishna consciousness, one who understands Krishna, he can become a guru. A guru is the post given to the sannyasis, to the brahmanas. Without becoming a brahmana, nobody can become a sannyasi, and sannyasi is supposed to be the guru of both all the ashramas and all the burnas. So in preaching war, we require so many sannyasis. People are suffering all over the world for one top Krishna consciousness. My Guru Maharaj used to say that there is no scarcity. This is false propaganda. The only scarcity is that there is no Krishna consciousness. That is the difficult. Actually, that is the fact. Take some practical example. I have traveled all over the world many times. I have seen America from village to village, Africa, Australia. There is so much land vacant that if we properly utilize them, we can produce so much food grains that we can feed ten times as many population as it is now. That's a fact. Uh, we do not utilize the land properly. And Krishna has given us the formula. Annar bhavanti bhūtāni He produce or not. Annar bhavanti bhūtāni then the animals and the human beings will be well fed and they will be happy. If anyone, either animal or man, has his belly filled up with certain food, he will never be dissatisfied. Ah, that is the nature. So unfortunately, we are not following the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. If we follow the whole social system, political system, economic system of the whole world will be very, very nice and everyone will live very peacefully and there will be no height, no ism, no schism. Everything will be all right. That is the purpose of Krishna consciousness. Don't think that Krishna consciousness is a matter of sentiment. No, it is practical. Uh, the, uh, just like in America, they produce huge amount of grains. Sometimes they throw it in the sea on account of overproduction. Why overproduction should be given on the sea? Uh, it should be utilized. There are so many people starving. But this political situation is there that everyone is thinking, uh, this is my country, this is my home, this is my land, this is called Maya. Ahangamameti, Janasamohuayam Ahangamameti. 
everyone is under this impression i am this body and anything belonging to this body that is mine or my nation this conception should be given up that is krishna consciousness ah isha vasam idam sadvam everything belongs to the supreme lord in the bhagavad gita also the same thing is confirmed भोक्ताम जगृतवसा सर्वोकमहेश्वर सुहृद सर्वूता ज्ञाया शांति दिशाथ एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू हैव पीस पीस ऑफ द माइंड पीस ऑफ द सोसाइटी पीस ऑफ द नेशन वेरी गुड बट यू डू नॉट नो हाउ टू गेट दिस पीस दैट इज द स्काय इन एवरी वेदिक लिटरेचर Uh, that Vedic knowledge is so important. Nitya nitya nam, chetana chetana nam. The Supreme Lord is the leader. He is also a living being like us. He is not a dead stone. He is just like Krishna when he comes. He lives like us. That's a human being. So similarly. the uh, not similarly krishna is a living being like us he has got also two hands two legs on head as you have got but what is the difference between you and him the difference is that each of that similar number living being vidudati kaman bahuna he maintains everyone and we are maintained that is the difference we plural number living entities we are maintained and he the supreme lord being supreme being in the dictionary english they says that god means supreme being so supreme being he is also living being he is not a dead stone the difference is that he is the maintainer and we are maintained He is the ruler. We are ruled. This difference we have to understand. And he is the proprietor. We are servant. Ah, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy is this. That is the fact. Jibir Sarupa Nitya Krishna Dar. So this consciousness, Krishna consciousness, is being spread all over the world. for the peace of the world for the peace of the mind for the peace of the society so uh, take it very seriously it is very authorized it is not a concocted uh, speculation it is fact and it is happening so now these american boys and girls who have come spending thousands of rupees here and they have no such distinction that they, here is indian he is african he is brahmin he is khatriya why because they have taken to krishna consciousness so this moment is so important that everyone from every part of the world they should take uh, part in this moment and there will be peace in the world Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission is this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's birthday is today in this land, in this very spot we are sitting now. He appeared for this mission, and he said that Bharat Bhumi te manusya janma hi laja, janma sathak kori karo paro vaka. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. पृथ्वी ते आचे जातो नगरादिग्राम सर्वत्र प्रचार है दैट इज बीइंग डन एंड दे पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे रिस्पॉन्डिंग दैट इज वेरी वेरी गुड स्कोप फॉर स्प्रेडिंग दिस कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट एंड लार्नेड सर्कल इंपॉर्टेंट मैन एंड ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ दूर सोसाइटी एंड वर्ल्ड they are appreciating this mission 
Bharat Bhumi te manu say, it was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire that specially those who are born in India and specially in Bengal, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear in this land of Bengal. So it is a duty to spread this Krishna consciousness movement, uh, but unfortunately they are not coming forward. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter whether he is Bengali or uh, Hindu or Muslim, anyone who knows the science of Krishna, he can spread this Krishna consciousness movement and there is great necessity, great necessity and the preaching work is meant for the sannyas. So we have got uh, some sannyasis who are doing very nicely. So today we shall make a number of sannyasis more to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world. And those who are going to take sannyas, they should remember how much responsibility they have got. So live like a very strict sannyasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took himself sannyas at the age of twenty-four years. So it is not that in old age one has to take sannyas. That is not in this hastra. From Brahmacharya ashram, one can enter into the Grihastha ashram or Banaprastha ashram or Sannyas ashram as he thinks fit. There is no such rules and regulations that only the old man without any energy he will take Sannyas. No. Rather, the young man, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did personally, he was twenty-four years old. He had beautiful wife, young wife, sixteen years old at home, very, very affectionate mother. And his position was very great, not as a Brahmin, but still as a young man, he could collect one hundred thousands of men by his order only to make civil disobedience movement upon the Kaji in this land. Uh, so the civil disobedience movement was started by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for a good cause. So there are so many things. I especially appeal to the native of this land to take part in this movement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for the benefit of the world. And uh, we are trying to uh, construct a very attractive temple here. Uh, let them cooperate. It doesn't matter whether he is Hindu, Muslim. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is for everyone. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted Haridas Thakur as his chief desire. Haridas Thakur was born in a Mahavidan family. And his mission was to introduce this Hare Krishna mantra chanting, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevalam, And he made Haridas Thakur Nama Acharya. The Acharya to introduce Hare Krishna mantra, and Haridas Thakur was chanting three lakhs counting daily. That is the whole day and night. So, so nice moment. Everyone should take part in it and uh, dedicate to the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it is not at all difficult. It is very easy. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Amaragai Guru Haiya Taro Eidesh Jare Dakho Tare Kaho Krishna Pudesh. Uh, anywhere, either you are in this district or that district, it doesn't matter. Either you are at home or outside home, it doesn't matter. You become a guru. Everyone. Uh, how shall I become guru? I have no qualification. 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, you don't require any qualification. You simply require one qualification, that you repeat the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. That's all. Jare dakho, tare kaho, Krishna upadesh. That's all. You become a guru. Don't uh, adulterate Krishna upadesh like a rascal and nonsense. Present it as it is, Bhagavad Gita. Then you become a guru. You can become guru in your family, you can guru your society, your nation, wherever you are. And if it is possible, you go outside and preach this mission of uh, Bhagavad Gita. Therefore, our movement's name is Krishna Consciousness. Whatever Krishna says, you accept and preach, you become guru. Thank you very much.